Hey, hey, hey! So I just got my June Boxy Charm. So I wanted to open it with you guys and see what I got. So let's dive in. Okay, before I see anything, um, Boxy Charm Dare to Dazzle. Look at that. Look at that. That's okay. I'm not gonna look what's on the card. We're just gonna go for it. Okay, so I kind of figured since I just got this one in um, the Glam Bag X, of course I'm going to get it in BoxyCharm. But this is Aceology Overnight Lip Mask. Alright, Aceology Overnight Lip Mask. This lip mask is here to give your lips that extra smoochable edge. This miracle worker will resurface your lips, boosting hydration and leaving them soft, supple, and smiling. The retail price of this is $19. This is the 15 milliliters. What I got in the Glam Bag X was the 30 milliliters, so it retails for $40. Um, I've used it a couple of times, and I actually really, really like it. So I don't know if I will keep this one since I already have the larger size or if I will be passing it on. But if you get this in your box um, or if you need a good lip mask, this is really good. I only use it like twice a week and because I have other lip masks that I used to. But this is actually a really good product, so I'm not disappointed with that one. All right, so there's that. And then the next thing I'm going to start with the top of my list is the OPV Beauty Spotlight Eyeshadow Palette. Okay, this, I was actually hoping to get this, even though I watched uh, Elizabeth Wolf use it, and she said it was not as pigmented as she was hoping. Um, but it's just a super gorgeous palette, so... The diverse array of shades ensure your looks stand out, featuring the essential matte shades to create depth from subtle golden shimmers all the way to bold blue metallic. The possibilities are endless. I cannot read today. Created with all skin tones in mind, the formula is smooth, buttery, and highly pigmented. Retails for $40. Um, We'll probably try this out, even though I see already the first ingredient is talc, and that is not an ingredient that you usually want in Mega, specifically eyeshadow. So there's that. So that's the second thing that I got. Let's see what's next. So we got the overnight lip mask, and we got the eyeshadow palette, so what is next? Next is the item that I chose, which is the NARS Velvet Matte Lip Pencil. not to look too much but you know you, you end up seeing it okay so this is the lip pencil that I chose um, this cult favorite lip pencil instantly delivers the impact of a matte lipstick with the spontaneity of a pencil the long-lasting non-drying formula is enriched with vitamin E and emollients for a creamy texture that ensures seamless matte color for hours retail price is $27 and the color that I got is dance fever I don't remember if I picked that color or not. I remember that we got to select the color. I'm just not sure that Dance Fever was the one that I picked. Maybe it was. Okay, this smells like... Oh, when I was little, it was like... um. Some, some toys, they would like smell really good. It's not Strawberry Cupcake. Maybe it is. It smells really good though. It smells really good. I'm really excited to use that and try it out. Um, the next thing on the list is the, <clears throat> excuse me, the Touch in Soul Pretty Filter Glodiant Makeup Palette. A multi-face palette with gorgeous gradient shades that uses your own natural beauty to glisten bronze and add the perfect flirty flush. Retail price is $34 and it says this is a new launch, so this must have just come out. Um, does this come in different colors or is it all the same? Like we all get the same color? I don't know. All right, and then the last item that I got is the Jekka Black Hydrate Primer. Finally, a moisturizer that'll help your makeup last longer. The Hydrate Primer will make your skin feel soft, hydrated, and ready for your base. This retails for $20. I was actually hoping to get this because I, okay, I had the Unique Hydrating Primer and I was using that for a long time, but now that I'm not with Unique anymore and I'm trying to kind of expand my horizons and try new things. Um, a hydrating primer is perfect for my dry skin so hopefully this will work for me. Um, I do love the Charlotte Tilbury but it's got like color to it so this will be nice when I want something that doesn't have color um, and hopefully it'll work underneath the foundation. So 
now that we have unboxed everything let's add everything up and see the total after adding everything up I don't have my other phone um, but after adding all of the items up it comes to a value of $140 um, which you pay $26 for this so that's that's pretty good it's over the $125 promised value I have had one box that was only valued at $123 which BoxyCharm has not gotten back to me on clearly not bitter still about that but anyway um, $140 is not not a bad value um, considering that you know the lip pencil I'll use the hydrate primer hopefully I'll, I mean I'll try it hopefully it will work for me um, the eyeshadow palette I'm gonna at least try that um, I'm gonna try everything except for the Aceology lip mask because I've already tried that but so far like these this is a five out of five for me um, I will at least try it once I try it then of course I'll know if I like the products or not but this month is pretty good pretty good so now that I've unboxed everything let's put together a look the first thing I'm gonna use is this OPV Beauty London spotlight eyeshadow palette this is so so pretty look. so pretty so I was thinking about using this color right here and this color with maybe this color as like a transition so we're just we're just gonna kind of play and see where we end up where we end up it's always a good idea um, to use purple purples um, and I'm not gonna put a base down we're just gonna see how it works but um, oranges look really really good under purples it really makes them pop so if you're gonna wear a purple eyeshadow and you use um, like an orange underneath it it really does make it pop make it pop so far I'm not disappointed um, it's applying well blending pretty well I've had better but you know color is kind of pigmented like it's not it's not super pigmented like Jeffree Star Jeffree Star, man, you barely even need to touch those palettes and you're going to get a crap ton of color, but it's still pretty pigmented. Next, I'm going to go in with this color called Hype. Not, not super bright. Not super pigmented. Like, I don't hate it. It's just very light. I'm having to really, like, go in to the pan just to get hardly any color on my brush. And maybe with a base it would be stronger. I don't know. It doesn't help that this is not a great brush, but well, maybe we're going to do a light look today. Who knows? Ain't got to be heavy. I always tell myself that and I always end up with a super dark look. Apparently my default is just a smoky eye. Any colors, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Just a smoky eye. So, maybe we will end up doing just a lighter look today. Who knows? Because it's just not picking up very much color. I mean, you can kind of see it when I come like super close. We're just going to see what I can possibly do. Really, we're going to see what kind of trouble I can get myself into with this palette. That's the true, that's the true tea right there. Okay. I'm not, not super loving that, but we're going to, we're going to keep going. Okay. I'm going to go in with this pink color called Shoe. Shoe. 
Michelle. Not a bad color, it's just not super consistent with the application. And because I'm just feeling it, I'm going to go ahead and use this color. It's called Exhibit. I'm going to put it like at the top, maybe. I was thinking it might be kind of cool, like blended. Right there. We'll see if we like it, if we don't like it. That's fine. One thing is for sure about this palette is that it does have a lot of different colors to choose from. So there's a lot of different combinations you could, you could go with. Right. I'm going to put some more of the pink. This pink I am absolutely loving. It's called Show. And it is showing out. It is very, very nice. Very pretty. All of these colors are kind of shimmery. So, well, they're not all shimmery. But the ones that I'm choosing are shimmery. So, oopsie. All right. And then I'm going to go underneath my eye with this color called Dirty Martini. It's kind of like a dark, like a purplish color. Yeah, this palette is just not super duper pigmented. I don't know. I don't know what I think. I think the uh, the matte shades might be okay. But the shimmer shades are... Not great, really. Okay, and I think I'm going to go with this color Limelight and go in the inner corner of my eye. This is a whole lot of shimmer. Yeah. <laughs> I'm here for it though. Totally here for it. Okay. This is a light blue color. Just a little bit of all the colors today, huh? Orange, pink, purple, champagne, blue. I didn't do my brows. Okay. So, what do we think? I'm not sure about this color underneath my eyes. Let's see after I do my brow. Next up, we're going to try this Jekka Black Hydrate Primer. I hope I'm saying that right. I hope it's not Jessa Black. Okay. Vegan friendly, cruelty free. That's nice. This is a kind of a small primer. But hopefully it will hydrate my skin appropriately. All about hydrating primers as long as they actually work you know okay came out on the lid a little bit <laughs> you all do that you all like pull the lid off and if there's anything on there you try and get get what you can okay it just keeps oozing out which is not my favorite thing and it's not my favorite way to describe a product, 
but um, we're gonna go with it and see I'm trying to get it to stop oozing and then put the cap on super super fast <laughs> okay we're gonna put this on and then I'm gonna wait Ooh, that does feel good though it doesn't really have a smell I mean it smells clean it smells like soap you know but also not like soap okay so we're gonna wait three minutes and then I'll put my foundation on. so it's been about three minutes I feel like my eyes are uneven we'll fix it later we'll fix it later all right so I use I've been using Huda foundation Huda. ever since I found her eyeshadows I have really enjoyed her products it's a little light for me like the the foundation um but it's okay because I'm very light. <laughs> I'm a pale girl. I'm a pale girl. So it's okay. I can make it work. It's a little difficult to apply, I have to say. Like, I don't. I don't know. If you're not careful, it feels like super, super thick. I have the Charlotte Tilbury um, Hollywood Flawless Filter, which is not like a foundation. It's more like a, a luminizing primer. And it actually does a really good job. Covering up problem areas. And I feel like it makes my, my skin look, of course, flawless. So all about the Charlotte Tilbury. I need to try her regular foundation though. The, I don't know, just something. So I finished up my foundation. I did put a little bit of the Tarte Glow, Glow Tape, whatever it is, the Glow Wand, and I feel like it pulled my foundation off a little bit. I'm not super happy about that. But anyway, it's time to try the Glodiant. This is Touch and Soul Glodiant Makeup Palette. This is the color that I got. I don't know if we all got the same color um, or if it's just super, super light because I'm super, super light. But this is the color that I got. So I'm going to, hmm. <laughs> we're gonna try to like highlight and maybe contour and all that. So I normally contour first. So we're going to go in with this. Uh, I'm going to go into the, the shade on the far right, the kind of the darkest shade. And we're going to try to contour, see how this works here. I'm not the best at contouring, as you can probably see. as you can probably see and tell but I try so A for effort right I get points for effort right right oh I kind of contoured both sides I think maybe 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 we did maybe we didn't I don't know if it's supposed to be contour or blush um I don't really wear blush so we're gonna pretend that it's contour <laughs> um we're, we're just gonna we're just gonna go with it over here we just we don't know what we're doing but we pretend we pretend real good over here all right and then I am gonna use this of course for highlighting okay This is bow gaseous. So I'm gonna go to the far left to the lightest shade and we're gonna we're gonna highlight with that color. Oh Ooh, I like it. I 
I like that. I've never tried any Touch and Soul products before this one. So this is an interesting experience. I went and um, finished highlighting. Since I uh, put some mascara on, put the mascara on because I can't talk today. Um, now it's time to try out this lip pencil. I was unsure about the color that I got because it looks a little brown on me. And I'm not typically one, like I like neutrals. Like, like maybe a light brown or a soft brown or like a rosy brown, mauve brown, stuff like that. I'm not one to like, like, like brown, brown. So we'll see how this... going on very very smoothly and I'm fudging my lips all, all all the way up but it's applying very smoothly very nicely not bad I don't hate it. I do not hate it. Overall, I think I'm pretty happy with this month's box, you know? Um, the highlighter, the Glodiant palette's pretty good. Eyeshadow could be better, but the lip lip pencil, mm, and um, I'm gonna do a wear test today and test the um, hydrating primer. But I actually really like this box. Um, everything seems to work pretty good. Um, like I said, I'm gonna do a wear test with the foundation and the hydrating primer and see um, see if it lasts see what happens um, really happy with the lip pencil and the glow dance I'm really really psyched about that um, so let me know what you got in your boxycharm box this month if you like it if you don't like it let me know all the things if you love boxycharm if you hate boxycharm um, let me know all of the things in the comments below please uh, like my video subscribe if you haven't already and hit that bell to get notified whenever I upload a new video um, I love doing these videos. I love I love trying out like boxy shirt because you know you can get like products that you may not buy yourself. Like I'm I'm one of those people like I wouldn't spend twenty seven dollars on a lip pencil, but if Boxy Charm sends it to me, I'm like, yeah, I'll try it. Yeah, I'll try it, sure. Sure. Mm -hmm. Yep. So um but yeah. Let me know all the things. And I love you guys so so much and I will see you in the next one. Bye.